Seeing some really interesting lift conditions today um, coming from the Netherlands on um, Meshtastic, so on 868 megahertz. It's always so fascinating. Look, so we've got three minutes over here by, um, where's that? I'm trying to get my bearings. Arnhem, I'm not really sure of that area, never been over that way. Um, but we have got some over near sort of Rotterdam. There's, I think there's one up here Amsterdam, near Amsterdam. Um, which shows 49 days, but I think that's I think that's an error. But yeah, a bunch of stations coming in from there because of this um, this uh, this kind of little heat wave that we're getting. So we're seeing these signals coming in, which is a long old way. <laughs> if we look at the actual kind of station list here, um, we can see some in the list here. Look, 283 um, kilometers. They've just popped in. Um, <laughs> versus you know look with the similar RSSIs to stations that are just down the road from me um this one here here Hugo Wood um 348 kilometers and CP1 look there's just loads of them popping in now so we'll just see how this develops through the day but my suspect my suspicion is it will probably calm down soon because these lifts are quite usually um short lived but if we have a look at the messaging on here, we have actually received one message from a station um, which is showing meshnet.nl um, and somebody else confirmed, WD7, shout out to you mate, he confirmed that this station name um, is, let me check this on the map. Yeah, so if we check the um, Liam Cottle map, which is a great tool, I'm going to be doing a video about this soon. But what we can actually do, because they are connected to MQTT as a receive only, what we can do is we can check the gated messages that have been kind of sent out from their node, which makes it onto the internet. And then obviously, um, so you know, we're not using the internet to make contact, but we can we can kind of reference that, cross-reference the contact. So you can see here, GS1D, he has sent lots of messages showing meshnet.nl, and the chances are they have come from, well, we know they've come from him because one of the other users has kind of just confirmed that. But the fact that he's sent a few out there um, means that you know that that's improved the chances of us getting it over in the UK. So it's pretty cool. We haven't actually managed to get back, um, and I haven't received any more from him. Like these little kind of world emojis, we haven't actually received those. Um, but it's cool to see that this is actually kind of this is working. So I'm going to send a few more of these out. Um, basically just saying hello Netherlands just to improve increase the chances of kind of being heard out there and uh, maybe if you fancy doing the, the same then we might actually sort of see some of these messages these messages might get received over there but nonetheless what an impressive thing I mean it, it is mind-blowing how these signals are kind of propagating um, in these conditions I mean 283 kilometers 348 kilometers on that one um, and you know some of these haven't got um, well it's a Hiltec V2 there as well some of these some of these other ones haven't got GPS or we haven't picked up the GPS yet um, on those ones so yeah fascinating stuff guys um, catch you soon